Hello guys, this is Spicy and this is a review on the Bandai High Grade Universal Sentry High Gok. So this is the Principality of Xeon Amphibious Mobile Suit. Uh, I think it's like an upgrade version of the Zigok or uh, like an upgrade version of the uh, Zigok Experimental. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. This kit was released in 2003, I think around the same year as the uh, Zigok Experimental. And uh, you can probably find this kit in the United States or North America for around 15 US dollars. And here we have some more pictures of the Hygok. And here we have uh, some gimmicks of the Hygok. <coughs> Alright, so uh, original suggested retail price is 1200 yen. And that's the box. Alright, we do have a larger, large sheet of uh, four stickers. Uh, you can make. Uh, Unit 1, 2, and 3, and then we have all these uh, foil sticker for the red part, which I actually painted. So, yeah. And I did have to use the black sticker for the uh, mono eye area and the uh, insignia right there on the uh, uh, head area. Let's go ahead and take a look at the manual. It's kind of small. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we have. Uh, doesn't tell you what kind of material it's made from, but uh, yeah, beam cannon, abdominal machine gun cannon, torpedo, vice claw, hand missile unit. It's very cool. And honestly, I don't know where the torpedo comes from. Are these the torpedoes? I thought those are the cruiser mode thing. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I am kind of lost at where the torpedoes are. Maybe these are the torpedoes on the chest. I think uh, those might actually be the torpedoes, so maybe I need to uh, color them in. <laughs> yeah, anyway, here we have some more pictures of the Zagok. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the torpedoes. So, I need to uh, paint those. Yeah, right there, it says torpedoes in Japanese. Oops! So, I gotta paint those in, I forgot. And uh, some more pictures, and some more gimmicks. Alright, so let's get right into it. So basically, uh, the Zagok has a cruise cruise mode. So when it's underwater, I guess uh, you lower these uh, side pieces. You uh, attach these uh, tank thing to the arms, and that let you uh, cruise underwater. If you watch the double eighty uh, war in the pocket, uh, the Zagok, uh, I mean the high gok, <laughs> keep calling it Zagok. Uh, comes out the submarine like this yeah and it just flows around unfortunately there's no uh, peg or action based attachment so you just gonna have to imagine or modify this kit to uh, be attached to an action base yeah so right here we have a very similar uh, backpack as the uh, uh, Zigog Experimental these are the booster unit to let it uh, cruise underwater just float around like that all right and then next off uh, what we're gonna do is uh, actually let's talk about his armament so we already know these are the uh, torpedoes and then right here is a chest machine gun and then uh, we have these guys these are the arms <clears throat> let's open up the feet and uh, let us stand real quick so what do you want to do uh, just like the anime, uh, you uh, take these parts and you attach it right here, like so. So that makes the arm. And then, uh, just like in the anime, this thing opens up, <laughs> revealing the uh, forearm. The forearm. Of course, uh, in the anime, the claws are already uh, attached. Uh, unfortunately, uh, with the kit, you have to. Uh, attach a claw separately because uh, all these won't fit in here so here we go we have the arm like so and then uh, these are actually beam cannons but uh, you can also have the missile attached to it and then you can fire it. so let's go ahead and attach this to this arm right here and yeah you can articulate that very cool firing the missile 
of firing the beam cannon. And you can articulate each finger individually, which is really cool. Yeah. So, like that. That's looking super cool. And then we'll go ahead and do that again with this arm. So, go ahead and uh, attach this to this. Like so. Uh, open up these. It's a lot easier. I'm just uh, a little bit tired, I guess. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and pop these in. And then attach the cover for the hands. There we go. And uh, if you want to uh, put this back, you just reverse the process. Attach a missile or detach a missile. We do have two of these missiles. It's called a hand missile unit. I prefer it having the beam gun. And uh, let's go ahead and plug this in. So yeah, very interesting mobile suit. Uh, these guys kick a lot of butt. Uh, it, like took out a whole bunch of gyms in the uh, ambush attack in double eighty. And uh, overall, it just looks really cool. Yeah, I did uh, did some painting on the thrusters, all these uh, red parts, and I did a lot of panel lining. Also painted all the power cables silver, because I feel like uh, you know it looks better with silver, just all the way through, all the way through here, all the way through here. I did paint it all these red. Uh, I, I just gotta paint it in those uh, torpedoes. <laughs> I put a lot of decals on this kit because uh, once again, older kits always lack a lot of decals. So, yeah. And then I think it looks better without these this uh, piece attached to it. Let's go ahead and do that, just like in the anime. It doesn't have that. Very cool kit. All right, let's talk about articulation. Uh, very simple. Uh, you can articulate each one of the feet and the feet on a ball joint attached to a polycap so you can rotate the feet if you want to although it's really hinder and I don't think it's really designed to uh, have much movement anyway uh, we do have a slight knee bend right there and then uh, we have a ball joint right here in this piece right here so you can rotate that and then another ball joint for the hip so yeah can walk around we have waist articulation no head articulation obviously because uh, this whole thing is just one big piece we have the shoulder articulation you can rotate the arms and then uh, you can lift up this piece or lower it and then uh, we have the arm articulation each and every one of these uh, joints are a ball joint so you get some pretty good articulation there you can rotate this part and each fingers can articulate individually so it's very cool and yeah, it stands up pretty well, but uh, yeah, it's just like uh, sink is better if you uh, put the arm down to support it <laughs> from falling uh, over. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Really like these uh, shoulders. Sink's a very fine looking kit, and it's not very pricey. You can probably find it for around 15 bucks. And I definitely recommend picking this one up, it's super cool. Alright, it's a pretty short review, but this thing actually took me a while to put together. It's very easy if you don't want to do like any of the painting or the panel lining. But uh, yeah, the arm actually took a long time because uh, they're individually joined and you had to build each one up individually. So that's pretty much it for the Hygog. Uh, one of the older kits, but still very nice. And I uh, hope you guys find this information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching.